In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a flowchart not like this by copying and pasting and dragging it down and then copy and pasting your arrows and putting it down and connecting it to this one right here and this other end right here but rather i'm going to show you how to create a flowchart easily like this without creating all these lines and boxes and arrows and you know color changes and all this fancy stuff so let's dive into this the first step is to go to the top right corner on the google apps you should slide down to google slides and once you find it which is right over here you're able to edit a couple of things or introduce things that you want to start off with and so in this case all you have to do next is just click on blank and we are good to go if you want to change the title of your slide you can click on the top left corner on the on title presentation you can just write um, in this case we're going to be addressing flow chart for matter for example in here we are going to hit enter and this is our title for this slide uh, we don't really need this at all we can just remove this and remove that otherwise if you want to make a blank page all you have to do is just move to the part which says blank under the plus sign drop down menu and once you click on blank you're good to go now the big question here is how are we going to create our particular flow chart without doing this what do i mean in here we can see a couple of things like for example you can click on a specific shape that you want you can type whatever you want like for example matter you have to then change this to center it by clicking on this particular align and clicking on this by that way you can move on to the next one copy and paste Control c Control v and then change this to what it is to be pure pure substances and we can move on copy and paste this takes really long and tedious to arrange every single font and every single boxes and how to go from organizing your thoughts which is quite difficult to do now or challenging in terms of time consuming but how can you make this to be way more efficient by ter in terms of what does google slide have to offer um, the way to go about this is by not using this to be honest this is uh, really a waste of time pretty much waste of money if you want um, the only way and a better way is to of course first let's create a new page so that we'll be able to introduce this particular new way of creating a flowchart so under insert we have a couple of icons that may be of great use to insert into this main page and the one that is really cool is diagrams which is i just figured this out and it's pretty amazing to see this introduced right here so let's dive into what is the potential that is untapped here that we are going to tap into so once you hit on diagrams on the right side of your screen we have a couple of interesting ways of presenting anything that you think might be of importance to you we have grid format which has a couple of checks yes and no's and if not why why not we have hierarchy and next is timeline we have processes we have relationship we have cycle and all these ones here are really fantastic ways to introduce a concept or break down complex concepts into smaller pieces and once you click on any one here on the right side of the arrow it gives you a breakdown on other alternatives but for the purpose of this particular video we're going to look at hierarchy and looking at hierarchy we have more alternatives and options available and these formats here are really incredible to see whichever one you feel is great whichever one based on the arrow directions that is valid 
that would be really incredible to see that this one kind of reminds me of all the soccer games that we watch in this case this is like a semi-final bracket and this is like the finals bracket and that likewise is applicable to this one at the bottom right here but for the purpose of this particular video we're going to use a function that is similar to the intro and this function we have to introduce number of levels in this case level three means that this is your first level second level and your third level in here we're going to introduce four levels because we not only want to introduce one but it is broken down into three and then we're going to introduce an example and so once you click on this it appears right on your main page and so once you have this you can now play around with not only the text on each of the boxes in this case this looks like a tablet but also you can introduce a couple of alternatives to this diagram right over here and we have this already created already without you using this and just creating arrows adjusting the front size of everything just to make it to look you know a little bit more presentable this is already created for you so all you have to do is just click on whatever box that you have in this case it kind of looks like a tablet and you can just highlight everything and just type in whatever information that you think might be important so in here i'll just start with A couple of other interesting things here is this yellow diamond that you see right here. The yellow diamond changes the sides to be from sharp to really smooth as you can see right here to here smooth which is closer to towards the text itself. Another thing of interest here is that you can see that this goes from darker at the top here to lighter at the bottom and so that means that all these here are contained in the first generation pretty much that is how we call it and so if you want to change the text or change the background color all you have to do is just click on this and then change it to whatever color that you want and voila there we there it is this one here we can change this to let's say orange other things here you can keep in mind is the arrows you can see how you can adjust the arrow you can make it to be higher by dragging the diamond up or down and so on and so forth other things here that you can actually play around with is how it is positioned from side to side you can move it from side to side and that is pretty good you can also change it to arrow head all you can do is click on this select arrow click on this just click hold and drag to whatever one that you want instead of using just this format so all you just do is click on blank and we have the arrow format you can also do the same thing with this right here but you know what we're just going to leave it the way it is other interesting things you can do here is you can increase the size of the whole thing by highlighting everything and dragging it to whatever position that you want and you can add other contents that you feel that might be important here you can also add images to these to enhance the communication to add images all you have to do is go to insert go to image you can actually go to search the web and on the right side you can actually type whatever image that you want like for example if you have mixture that you want to search for an image you can just click on that click on examples and we have this as an example here click on insert and it appears right here you can adjust this and put it closer to mixture but more aligned with heterogeneous so if it is pizza that you want to search for you can just click on type pizza and that is a great way to go around it i hope you will not go to waste your time by doing this but rather 
doing this another one that might be cool here is in terms of uh, introducing a timeline um, let's look at timeline here uh, timeline can be in terms of dates of events that happen and once you click on this you can have a couple of options either just an arrow like you no know, transition or you can of course you can change it to how many you want the only limitation here is up to six um, if you want to change it to more um, there is no other way to change it to more so if you have six that is good to go and uh, so this one has availability for more description like the title and description you can actually add images as you want this one is kind of like a broken down angled version of it or uh, this one here is kind of like a timeline in a vertical manner you can also introduce timeline in terms of just a table format from what span to what span that is how an event actually happened is also correlated with this particular format so this is pretty amazing to see this established um, and once you click on this for example we have a couple of years from what year to what year and in between you can have the title here of what event happened and a little description on it i hope you found this really informative in terms of this incredible tool that is found on google slides which is involving diagram and all the interesting varieties of you know concepts that you can explore or share or uh, you know diverse ways of presenting a particular topic and i hope you found this really informative please hit the comment down below by the way i can talk to you all soon stay smart as always and believe in yourselves